what is up guys and we are back with another video so today i'm actually going to be testing out a bunch of different weapons for Shao, and we're going to see which one performs better where and what you guys can use especially as free-to-play players or just anyone in general because i've been seeing a lot of questions on a lot of my videos and just in my discord in general about what weapon's good should i buy this weapon is this weapon good but we're basically going to be testing a bunch of different weapons and i've went ahead and leveled them all up right here Please ignore these Jade Spears, but basically we're going to test the Jade Spear. I will just test this one last because a lot of people don't have access to it, but I do want you guys to see it. Um, we're going to test the Deathmatch. Unfortunately, like I had this leveled way before it came out, so it's level 90. But the thing is, the Deathmatch gives like the lowest space attack out of all the weapons, so it shouldn't ma make that much of a difference. The huge reason for the Deathmatch is because it gives that massive crit rate. But in terms of base attack, it has one of the lowest out of all of them. Okay, then have the Black Cliff Pull, also level 80. Then we got the Crescent Pike, also level 80. And then we got the Prototype Star Glitter, also level 80. So these two are your free-to-play options. Um, Black Cliff Pole, also a semi-free-to-play option if you guys save up your Star Glitter. Uh, the Deathmatch from Battle Pass. And then, you know, if you guys have the Primordial Jade Spear, great option. So with each weapon, we're going to be looking at three things, right? We're going to be looking at his basic attacks. We're going to be looking at his E. And we're going to be looking at his burst and plunge damage. So let's go ahead and go to our favorite spot and just test out each weapon. And also for each weapon, I'm going to be breaking down a pros and cons as well. And before we start attacking this guy and testing the weapon, I want to show you guys my Shao's stats. So here I have 2100 attack, and I have 145% crit damage, and I have almost 90% crit rate. And a lot of you might see this and be like, oh my god, like there's no way we can achieve this. You have to remember that most of this is from the deathmatch, which gives upwards of 40% crit rate. So for the flower, I have this. I focused on crit damage, attack percent, crit rate. So these four are like the ones you want to focus for. Um, if you get energy recharge or elemental mastery, that's also good. Uh, for my flower, you see it's not the best. I have attack percent, energy recharge, crit rate, elemental mastery, just a mix of everything. And then my sands, also not the best substats. I just got crit damage, um, flat attack, flat HP, and energy recharge. And then Nemo bonus damage, also like not the best substats. I got high crit rate, which doesn't really matter because he's Xiao and he gets ascension crit rate. Attack percent, elemental mastery, and defense. This one's pretty good. I got crit rate, attack percent, energy recharge. So as you guys can see, like three out of my five um, artifacts, like they don't even focus on crit damage, and I still have pretty decent crit damage, right? So I'm C1. This doesn't matter because it's not going to improve our damage. But my talent levels are all six. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at his basic attacks. So 294. Let's go ahead and look at his E. So 13k. Let's go ahead and look at his punch damage with his burst. 17k. So let's go ahead and switch to the Black Cliff pull. So you see my attack goes to like 1900. Um, my crit rate goes to 50% because I lost like 40% from my death match. But it's still 50% which is pretty good. And my crit damage goes up to like almost 200%. And that is because the Black Cliff pull, it gives you 50% crit damage. Which is insane. So for the Black Cliff pull, we're going to look at it from, from 0 stacks, and then we're going to look at it from 3 stacks. So 315. Let's go ahead and look at his E ability. But you're also seeing that I'm not critting as often. So that is one con with the deathmatch. Okay guys, just for testing purposes, I am going to use this because I cannot crit for the life of me. And so this is going to just boost my crit rate and nothing else. That way it makes testing a little easier. And I still can't crit. Oh my god, what is this weapon? So 14k, I finally crit. Kill. 18k. So that was with zero stack. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try to stack up the Black Cliff pull, and we'll see how much damage he does with all the stacks. Okay, so I max stacks. My attack goes to 2180, which is similar to what I had with the death match. So 16k. 360. And 20k. Actually, let's go ahead and switch over to the Prototype Star Glitter. So this is the free-to-play option that I recommend to most people. And that's because it provides energy recharge, which is really good because you want Shao's burst up as fast as possible. Uh, it's passive right here. So elemental skill increases normal and charge attack damage by 8%. It's pretty good for Shao because he's going to be spamming his elemental skill anyway. We'll take a look with his elemental skill active, how much his basic attacks do. So 261 uh, without the passive. <laughs> So almost 12k with his E. So now I'm going to activate his passive by using E twice and then checking the basic attacks. See, now I have those arrows around me. 
So 303. Okay, 15k with his plunge. So with Crescent Pike, our attack is at 2000. And instead of getting... And we are getting a 32% physical damage bonus. And also after using after picking up orbs, um, we get like an additional tiny attack, which I'll also include in the testing. So 361. So 191, that's what they crit for, those tiny attacks. Uh, let's go ahead and look at his E. So 12k. Let's go ahead and look at his burst. 15k. Okay, and lastly, we're going to use a Primordial Jade Spear. Again, this is for people that have it or like are whales and plan on pulling on it. So this is also level 80 refinement one. We're going to look at it from zero stacks and then max stacks. So 301. So almost 14k. And then you see how it stacks up. So that's what I mean by uh, his passive talent. It goes all the way up to like 17k use multiple E's. Okay, so now I'm gonna stack up Jade Spear to the highest stacks. So at highest stacks, I'm at 20, almost 2400. And let's look at my E ability. So 17k. 368. When I have max basic attacks. So now let's go ahead and compare every single weapon and talk about the pros and cons of each weapon as well as what I recommend and what you guys should go for. So okay, now that all the testing is complete, we can break every single thing down and I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of each weapon as well as what's probably best for you considering what kind of player you are, if you're free to play and all that stuff. Essentially, I know it looks like a lot of numbers, but the only three things we looked at were the basic attacks, the E ability, and the plunge. So let's look at it in terms of a pure damage standpoint. In terms of pure damage, the Jade Spear at max stacks outperforms everything. But what's really surprising is the Black Cliff at max stacks is barely behind the Jade Spear, considering this is a four star weapon that almost every player can get if they just save up their star glitter. Like look at the damage difference, it's like 1000. We're gonna talk about other things later, but in terms of pure damage, the Black Cliff barely falls behind uh, at max stacks. And that's because at max stacks, Jade Spear on top of giving attack percentage, it gives a 15% damage bonus. And what's even more surprising is the base Black Cliff hits harder than the base Jade Spear. Isn't that kind of crazy? That's because of the Black Cliff's insane crit damage. Okay, so now that we've looked at it from a pure damage standpoint, you guys get an idea of which one is the strongest and which one is not the strongest. Now let's break down each weapon. So I'm going to start off with the Jade Spear, right? The reason why this weapon is probably the best, even better than Black Cliff, is because... The Jade Spear gives you like 20% crit rate, whereas Black Cliff does not. Even though I'm hitting really hard, even close to the Jade Spear, I'm not going to be hitting this ass consistently. Jade Spear is super consistent because it provides that crit rate on top of the damage bonuses it provides. So that's where it like pulls ahead by a, a good amount. Okay, and another thing for Black Cliff at max stacks is it's kind of hard to get this. It only works in areas where there's a lot of smaller enemies, but against bosses, it's you're going to be stuck at like base Black Cliff. Whereas Jade Spear max stacks is always going to be up because as long as you're attacking, you get the stacks. You know, there's no like condition where you have to kill an enemy. So that's why Jade Spear base and max stacks is just so far ahead of Black Cliff. Even though if we just look at damage numbers, the Black Cliff is barely behind. It's that crit rate that really pushes the DPS for the Jade Spear higher. And on top of that, the stacks are so much easier to maintain than Black Cliff. So now that we've talked about the Jade Spear, let's talk about the Black Cliff. The pros for Black Cliff is it's much easier to attain and it's easier to refine, right? So I would give first place to Jade Spear. I would give second place to Black Cliff. And then third place is going to be between these three weapons, right? And in my opinion, it can go either way. I think Deathmatch is such a good weapon because, because it... Even though it has the lowest base attack, it is providing a absurd amount of crit rate. And my Zhao does not have the best crit damage, and I'm still hitting these numbers. And they're a little higher than Star Glitter and Crescent Pike, but considering that I'm hitting these way more consistently, with this weapon, I was sitting around close to 90% crit rate. So I'm always hitting these numbers. Compared to Star Glitter and Crescent Pike, it's similar to Black Cliff, where they lack that crit rate. So that's where they fall off in terms of consistency. So in my opinion, the deathmatch is is ahead of these two, right? Or if you're in the circumstance where you have a lot of crit rate from your artifacts, or you don't spend money on the game, 
then Star Glitter, I think, is going to be your best option. Because if you guys look at this, the Star Glitter is barely hitting less than Crescent Pike, and that's because Crescent Pike has higher base attack, only by like 40 or something. And Crescent Pike's passive gives it the highest basic attacks out of all the weapons. You know, 361 plus that additional 191 when you get energy, like it's it's not you can't even compare it to anything else it just blows them out of the water star glitter on the other hand yeah it hits less but that energy recharge is going to get your burst up all the time and where crescent pike falls off is when you go into your burst this bonus right here your physical damage bonus doesn't apply to anything so it's basically a wasted substat going physical dam unless you plan on going like pure physical damage shao crescent pike is going to be a really good option because it hits harder than star glitter and its basic attacks are insane but if you're all going for an overall shao build you want to do his normal attacks you want to do his burst you want to plunge you want to use his e and you're a free to play player i think star glitter is going to be your best option and if you are like and the thing is if you're planning on investing your star glitter into this you're better off waiting to, for the black cliff because as you guys saw black cliff is barely behind the jade spear yeah I think it's, it's like the second best weapon for Shao. I don't know why you would ever choose a Royal Spear over the Black Cliff for Shao. And the next weapon I want to talk about is the Lithic Spear. So this one is supposed to be coming in the next banner with Kaching. And what this does is for every character that is from Liwei, you get a 7% attack increase and a 3% crit rate increase. A pretty good passive. It limits your team comp because a lot of characters that are good for Shao are not from Liwei. Um, again, this is more, I'm going to test this out when it comes out, but this is an option to keep in mind. But again, to conclude everything, in my opinion, obviously Jade Spear is going to be the best. Okay, I think Black Cliff, compared to everything else, is a really good weapon as well. I think it's the second best. Deathmatch, severely underrated. Um, it makes you super consistent, and you're going to be hitting numbers way more consistently. And then Star Glitter, if you guys are free-to-play players, and I would choose it over the Crescent Pike, unless you guys are planning on going for a physical DPS Shao and don't really plan on using his burst. It still hits harder than Star Glitter, but the thing is Star Glitter gives you more uptime on your burst. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys.